To fight terrorism, the United States and Europe need to exchange criminal data. But equally, citizens' personal information should be protected. This is the Umbrella Agreement's aim, which the European Parliament has at last given the green light. We achieved a lot in the negotiations to improve the protection for personal data in this area of police and justice in the United States. So there we can now see that we really get better standards than before. Before, US citizens could have their criminal records corrected even in Europe. But Europeans could not do the same in the US. Thanks to the Umbrella Agreement, everyone would at last have the same rights. If you happen to have the same name as a criminal blacklisted in America, consequences can be severe. EU citizens will be able to have their name deleted, if necessary by a judge, once the mistake is discovered. Finally, data that changes hands will be restricted to specific files and to the duration of the investigation only. This is different in the area of companies' data or of intelligence services, where we still have to improve quite a lot in the United States, where they are not uh, comparable to our protection. In the future, the standards for the exchange of criminal data set out in the agreement could act as a basis for further accords relating to trade data or intelligence services.